Hi everyone, on this week's episode, I'll be turning this container of old computer parts. So I was going through my old uploads the other day, and I didn't realise that it had been over six months since the last episode of Egg That, the Paracord. So I knew that for episode four, I had to find something really unique. Computer parts. Now I didn't have any of this lying around, but luckily for me, my dad had a drawer full of stuff. Looks like we've got some RAM sticks, a whole bunch of cables, a heatsink, a CPU board, and a circuit board. This one looks fried. Now this build should be pretty easy. All I have to do is dunk these computer parts into this container and pour some resin over the top. And then once it's cured, I'll be able to put it on the lathe and turn it down. Now it's gonna be really interesting if I start exposing some wires or some circuit boards. So after thinking about it, instead of just jamming them in the container, I think I might glue these pieces together. That way I can have them in the positions I want. I think that's looking pretty good. Now I'm not going to add the USB cable until I've got this into the container. Looks like I made it a little tall. This piece of RAM sticking out of the top. I guess now I'm just going to have to drop it in. Well, it's now time to mix up some resin. Now, once I've poured it into the container, I'm gonna pop this into the vacuum chamber. I'm gonna create a vacuum, which will hopefully pull out any trapped air. Now, once I've done that, I'll pop it into the pressure pot to cure overnight.
I'll be very surprised if there's no fractures in this one. Well, I am impressed. There's only a couple of little fractures in the middle, and that's about it. Well, I think this is one of the coolest blanks I've ever made. Do you agree? I'm so surprised that there weren't more fractures. There's a handful in the middle, and that's about it. So the next thing I need to do is glue on my waste block so we can turn it on the lathe. It's gonna be really exciting to see what happens when we turn into these wires and circuit boards. If I had a crystal ball, I'd say there's going to be a lot of tool sharpening in my future. You can hear that different sound when I start hitting the circuit boards. Well, I think this is the hardest blank I've ever turned, and that's saying something, because I've turned steel, the 100 year old log, and even golf balls, but this one's definitely top of the list. It took me over three hours to do, and no matter how much I sharpened my chisels, the minute I hit one of these circuit boards, it was instantly dull. Well, it's now time for me to give this a sand and a polish, and looking at how bad these tool marks are, I reckon I've got a good couple of hours of sanding. While I'm sanding, I wanted to share something with you. On Tuesday, it'll be Nicole and I's 25th wedding anniversary, and we'd like to celebrate with you guys by running a sale in my Etsy store. So from now until Tuesday, everything is 10% off. So if you've had your eye on a keychain, pendant, or egg, now's the time. 
And don't forget, as with all my egg date episodes, I'll be randomly adding this computer egg into someone's order. Now one last thing before we take a look, I need your help. We are so close to reaching 350,000 subscribers that it would really mean a lot to me if you could share this video. Even if it's just with your mum, your dad, your brother or your sister, or someone who's into games or computers. Now let's take a look at what I think is one of the best eggs I've ever made. 